Jarvis, you seem tired today. What's been going on? Obadiah, Obadiah, Obadiah. I've been very unsuccessful in the workplace recently, which has led me to many long hours, and I am very, very exhausted and fatigued. Is this a persistent problem or is something new? Perhaps you'd like to try a caffeinated beverage. A caffeinated beverage? Yes. Caffeine is a stimulant that helps people stay awake. Here, have a try. A few moments later. Obadiah, this is stuff works like crazy. I'm gonna be so perfect from work today. If caffeine could help up here, then what could it do for right here? There's only one person I know that can solve the case. Let's go visit Dr. Troy. Doctor? Yes, Jarvis. I was wondering if you could help me figure out a certain experiment in, that I had in mind. If caffeine can affect the brain, what do you think it could do to E. coli in our intestines to stop indigestion. I don't know. Let's find out. First, we need five petri dishes, five diluted solutions of caffeine and ca uh, caffeine powder and water, and E. coli. Um, first, take a swab of the E. coli and rub it against the one of the petri dishes. Then take 0.8 milliliters of each solution and place it into their designated petri dish. Stack all the petri dishes and tape them all together. Then we put it in our incubator and wait 24 hours. Now we will go to Nishad, our lead scientist, to interpret the results. We have found that as a concentration of caffeine increases, the growth of E. coli also increases. However, this was not the case in some of our trials. For example, our last trial that we conducted, all five plates of different caffeine solutions had the exact same amount of E. coli growth. This could be explained by several sources of error. One, for example, could be possible air bacterial contamination when applying the E. coli and caffeine solution, or spreading uh, differing amounts of E. coli on each of the plates. However, this is only the first step to figuring out what caffeine can do the bacteria down here. 